In this video, we are going to set up our environment and create our server. But before that, let's look at the tools we are going to use. So as usual, I'm going to use VS Code and you can use any test editor of your choice. If you don't have it, you can download this for your operating system. And the next tool we are going to use is called Postman, right? So Postman is a tool that help us to develop our API. And you can also download the Postman for your operating system. All right, and the last thing is you need to have MongoDB account. If you don't have it, just search for MongoDB and create an account for that. All right, so we will come back to this as we proceed on. So for the meantime, let's go back to our terminal and then start creating our server. The way I'm going to create this server will be more advanced than my previous ones. All right, so in this one, the way we are going to do is that we are going to create or run our application using one script. So if you look at this diagram here, this is how we're going to implement it, right? We will have our main folder that is going to be the runner, right? That's going to run our Node.js and React.js together without us opening in a different terminal to facilitate the um, development process. So first of all, we are going to create one folder called the main file, right? And this one is going to run both. So let's go to a terminal and start creating that. All right, so here, let me create one folder, mkdir. We can do it manually, mkdir, and I'll make mine as expenses tracker. I'll hit enter. And then next, let me clear the console. And next one is going to be what? If you check out, let's create our server folder. So it's inside this main folder, right? So let's go back to our terminal and then cd in to the expenses tracker like that. So I'm inside. And let me open this folder in my preferred code editor using VS Code. I make use of code dot and it automatically open it for me. So there it goes. Let me make it large. So as you can see, we have the main folder here. That's our runner, right? So next, we can do it manually by creating here a new folder here, but I prefer to use the terminal. So in here, let me also create one folder called client. So the client here is gonna be, gonna be the front end. That's my React application. And then next folder is gonna be my server. All right, so with this one, let's check it out. You see that I have both the clients and server here. So how can I run these two together? Because these two folders are inside my main folder here, right? So first of all, before I can run these two using this main folder, I, I have to, because I want to make use of um, script from NPM. So I have to initialize the main one as an NPM init. So let's go back to terminal and in here, right? Let's make use of, let me clear the console, sorry guys. Let me clear the console like that and then make use of npm init. If you give it Y flag, it's going to give you the default configuration. So all what npm init means is that you need to initialize your project to use third party packages from npm, right? Because I'm going to use express, which is a third party package outside Node.js. So here, let me show you the first one and you're going to go the other ones so we're going through step by step because for the main folder, I'm not going to install any package, but I only need the package.json file. So let me hit enter and it's going to give me the default configuration. So as you can see here, I have my package.json file here, which holds this. So now I can run my script here and I'm going to run both these two for me, right? So let me change this one to server, the file. And we can give it a description, right? And then the test and then the script. We will come back to this later on. All right, so next is I need to also CD in to the main backend folder, right? So CD to the server, sorry. I name it server like that. Let me clear the console. So here, 
it's here that we are going to install all the packages we need for our back end de um, development so i've cd into this folder right so let me come here and continue and let me initialize this as an npm so npm in it this time around i want to take you through step by step so first of all you're going to ask me the package name the package name represents the folder that i want to work in and by default it's like taking the folder i have created here as that right so i want that so i will hit enter and the version you can change the version of your project anytime maybe you make an update you can come here and change the version so you can we can do all these things from the file as well here all right so let me hit enter and next description let me call this one expenses tracker hit enter and entry points you can use index but i prefer to use server.js and this project i'm not going to do any test command test cases so I would, i'll hit enter and by for now it doesn't have any git repository so i will hit enter and keywords for SEO purposes let me call this one main stock all right and the author write your name all right and then the line says i can i prefer mit and there you go so is this okay yes of course hit enter so let me clear the console and now if you check it out inside the server now you have to pack it with json files right inside the server it has its own package with json file and this one so here we are going to install all the packages we need right so the one we configured when we are initializing the project so we can come here and edit as well cool so for the meantime let's also create our front end so let me see the into the client so let me clear the console and then let me go back one step and then come one more step and call this one client but because i've already have the folder when you're creating a react application make use of npx npx creates react app right like this so if you already have the folder all what you need is to space dots and then hit enter and going to install the react application inside that folder all right cool so once react is doing a thing here let's go back to the folder and then um, we are going to create our server for file and then we will run the two of them cool so inside my um, express so my server here let's install first of all express right because we need express for this project so here once react is installing let's open one terminal here and then let me go back and then cd into my server folder like that and i'm going to make use of yarn to install all my packages you can use npm if you want so first let's install express because i'm going to express for this project so express and hit enter so express installing now quickly express is done so let's check it out right so now inside my server folder make sure we are in the right folder right inside my server folder here let's structure our node application right cool so here this is how we do it uh, uh, normally like so let's create one folder here called lsrc lsrc like that okay cool and inside the lsrc we are going to make use of mvc pattern so let's quickly create those folders right so for now let's create one folder called controllers and another folder called model and another folder called route so i will take you through the mbc pattern so don't worry if you're not I'm okay with that okay so the most important thing is to create a server right so i'm inside my server file right and i'm going to create two files one for the app and one for the server so like i'm I tell you that i'm going to show you the advanced way to set up your server 
So for the meantime, let's create this one app.js file. And then I'm going to make use of server.js file because you want to separate the logic from each folders, right? So you want to hold, you want to create all the server related logic inside the server folder and my business logic will be inside our app, right? So the way I'm going to structure the express server is that I'm going to make use of the Node.js module called ATTP. Right, we can use if you have watched my previous videos, you can see that I only use the express built in express server, right? But the logic here is that if you make use of npm to HTTP module from Node.js, and in the future, if you want to implement real time um, application, you don't need to re reconfigure your server again. So, if you make use of this server, I'm going to create we have an advanced way to configure your server in the future. So here inside my server, I'm going to make use of what is called the ATTP from node. So let's require const ATTP is equal to required. This is a built-in module, so we don't need to install it, right? So I have it. And next is, let me create my server, right? So if you have used ATTP module before, you see how you used to create your server, right? So for now, let's create our port. So the port is going to help us to run our application. So let's make it dynamic, make use of process, process.env.port. And then if there is no port for this one, let's going to use what is called a 5000. You can make use anything you want. And then next is let's create our server. So const, const server is equal to make use of the http module right so http on that you have what is called create server right and this create server i'm going to pass in our express um, server inside this create server to make it more advanced we can configure this in the future like as if you want to implement real time um, communication we can use it inside the server right so for the meantime we don't have express server here so let's give it as an empty string for now and then let's call this server and then listen to a certain port, right? Sorry. So here, server, now I'm going to be server.listen, right? And the port is going to listen is this port, right? Port. And then a function to run. So console look is a function, right? So let me use a console dot, no, console dot log. And let's call this one server is running on port this port all right this uppercase port all right so now all what we need is to create our app our express server and pass into the this http module from Node.js. right so let's come to the app right so the app i'm going to make use of express to get it done, the expert that we installed, right? So quickly, let's make use of const, const express is equal to required express. And let's quickly create an instance of express called app. Remember, we can assign a function to every app because in JavaScript, functions are first class citizen. So we call this express and then we assign to a variable. So here, I can now export my app and pass into the Express. Sorry, my Node.js HTTP module, right? So all that means, I'm going to make use of module.export, then I export the app here. You see, I have separate of concern here. So the, the only thing the server file is doing, just run my server, this one. That's what I would need. So next is, let me require this app. So let me auto import, and there we go, like that. So now I have my server here. I have to pass into this. So in, for this one, I have more advantage of this server in the future, right? And if you want to implement HTTPS in the future, we can do it like that. We only have to change this one to HTTPS and make some simple configuration. And there you go, right? So now I have it done. So let me run if my server is going to run. So let's go back to my terminal. But before that, let's add some scripts to run this one. So make sure 
you are inside the server folder, right? Server folder here. And in the script, let's remove this one. And for now, let's make use of start. And then I'm going to use node to run this. All right. So I'm going to make use of node. And then because the file I want to run this file is outside this one, I have to go one more step. So it's inside rsrc and then server.js like that. So with this, let's go back to my terminal and then make sure you are inside the server folder, right? For now, in the future, I'm going to run both the client and the server. For now, let's run the server only. So let's make use of yarn start because I use start at the beginning of my script. If you make here, no, it should be yarn no no. So if you're using npm, gonna be npm run no or np npm run start. So I'm going to use yarn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make use of yarn start. Okay. So let's check it out. You see now our server is running. Cool. We have configured our server in advanced way, right? So now that we know that our server is running. The next video, we are going to configure both the front end and the back end. And with one script, we are going to run both the front end and the back end at the same time. So, see you in the next video.